gangsters, I wanted to show you this pen that Iguana Cell sent over to me for review. That is a brand new pen in this box from Tabali. It's the new Tabali Perfecta. It's kind of a cool name, right? Perfecta. So this is the newest pen by Tabaldi, and it comes with this orange outer. It's not really a sleeve because obviously it like slides out like a drawer here. I don't even think that comes off to be honest with you. The pen is inside of this drawer-like situation, and it comes with some like very simplistic directions. Actually, it says to refill your Perfecta fountain pen or roller ball. Uh, please unscrew the pen section where indicated. So just, you know, I guess that's so people don't get in there just trying to yank on the thing and get it off and like, my goodness, I'm out of ink. I need to... Yeah, they just don't want you to mess your pen. I, I totally understand that. The pen is held down by an elastic band here on a very, very soft, velvety, pillow-like surface. Let's see what's under that false bottom though first. You have a little packet that has little cartridges in it. So like if you didn't know this already, but the pen is a cartridge converter. There's also a Tabaldi warranty in here. So let's see, this product is guaranteed for 24 months or two years from the date of purchase. So be sure when you get this, you know, write that down if it's not on there already. If anything goes wrong with it, they will hook you up and perhaps replace your pen, who knows? All right, so here's our pen. Let's take a look at this. It's a very interesting look about this pen. So as you can see, it has kind of a, a colorful striated resin. This one has lots of reds in it, red and gray, which I think is gorgeous. I'm a big fan of the color red. The clip here, which is very springy, is actually made of rubber, hardened rubber. Yeah, it even has a nice, smooth, tactile quality about it. And speaking of tactile qualities with this pen, you might notice that on the end of the barrel here, and right here at the top of the cap near the finial, yeah, it has this really cool kind of rough texture, is the best way to describe it, which is uh, the opposite of, you know, this smooth resin. It's a very beautiful, modern pen. And this is actually a pen that is a revival from one of Tibaldi's pens that were created with the same name, the Tibaldi Perfecta, the same name in the early 20th century. So the early 1900s, this pen was around and they've resurrected it and brought it back and has a more modern reinterpretation. It's not of that time, it's very much a very modern pen. I appreciate the very modern and the sleek silhouette of this pen. I just, I'm really liking the look of the resin. I mean, it looks really cool. I think this is that spaghetti resin, if I'm not mistaken, where there's a lot of different, uh, colors and textures combined into a resin. The, the cap does screw on, so I'm unscrewing that. And it has a very short section. That's what I'm noticing first. And so in the hand, you are gonna feel uh, the threading. So, but I'm feeling it, I mean, I don't think this is gonna be that bad. I mean, I won't truly know how that threading is gonna feel until I ink this up and do the writing sample, obviously. So it does have a stainless steel nib. I have a medium stainless steel nib. And the cool thing about Tabaldi pens is they do have an ebonite fee to ensure that your nib and your writing experience stays wet. You know, a nice, smooth writing experience. That to me is, you know, I mean, that's a big deal. I don't like hard starts and I don't like my pen to skip because it runs dry. That drives me absolutely crazy. No blind cap on here that I'm feeling, but yeah, the section is incredibly small. Look at that. So I'm unscrewing that from the barrel. I mean, that has got to be like the smallest section, except for the the Faber Castell pens. The Tomatillo has a really short 
section like that. Cartridge converter, it does screw in so that way it will not pop out of the pen and make an inky mess. Oh, I hate that. It just, it happens. It does, it actually happens. So the name Tibaldi, it's right underneath the clip and you turn around and it says it is made in Italy. While we have this cap off, let's see how it posts. Okay, I like the way this posts actually. It posts on that really, that back end of the barrel. And it actually makes a nice size pen and it's very light. This feels like it would be a very comfortable writer. So if you want long writing sessions, this might be the pen for you. So yeah, I'll, I'll have to ink this up and, and try it out and see exactly how that section is gonna feel with the threads, if that's gonna bother or not. It might not bother some of you, uh, but yeah, sometimes I just, you know, it doesn't, so I do have pens that have threading on the sections and it doesn't bother me, but you know, it's like a case by case basis to be honest with you, so. Well, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ink this pen and let's see how it writes. that the threading did not bother me. I didn't feel like it was cutting into my fingers. That's kind of important. I mean, you don't want an uncomfortable writing experience, right? Of course not. You want it to be comfortable. You want it to be a great experience, obviously. This wrote really nice. The nib writes really nice. I, I really, I feel like it was just a pretty good writing experience, seriously. I mean, the stainless steel nib, it writes nice and smooth. I appreciate that. A little bit of feedback, which I, I don't mind at all, but I really thought this wrote really nice. It's really a good pen. This is a good pen. Uh, so let's talk about the price. Now, over at Iguana Cell, you can find this pen for $205. And I noticed that you can get this pen in all the nib sizes from extra fine to even a double broad. So if you want a really, juicy, wet writer, go for the double broad, or if you ever, well, it'll cancel your warranty out, but if you ever wanna get like your nib to be customized by a nibmeister, that double broad is always a good option to get, just in case you feel like getting, you know, a special grind. Or when the warranty does cancel in two years, go for it, why not? Live a little, live on the edge.
$205. I don't think that's bad. And also Iguana Cell does express shipping to the United States. So you can get it within a matter of days. I don't think that's a bad deal to be honest with you. And that's about what the cost of Italian pens do seem to run. It's usually about around the $200 mark from what I understand. But this is really a pen that it is different from other pens out there. I, I honestly cannot say this looks just like a, because it really doesn't. I mean, it looks like a Tapaldi. That's what it looks like. I hope that this video was helpful and you learned something new about the Tapaldi brand. They also have other pens besides the Perfecta. Go check them out over at Iguana Cell. Go see what all Iguana Cell has to offer. They actually have a wide variety of pens that I mean, any pen brand you can think of, they have it. So the, uh, the website to Iguana Cell will be in my description. So be sure to check that out. And uh, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. And that's how the ink flows.